So. All right. So this is the beginnings of our Real Roulette podcast movie list. We have 20 genres as picked a couple weeks ago. And within each genre, there are 36 movies. Some of them have more because I was unsure if you've seen some of these movies or not. So Mm -hmm. um, as I was going through the list, I was like, well, if you've seen them, then we can cut them and I'll have other options. But if you haven't seen them, then it's the ones that you wouldn't need to see. So we have 20 genres. 36 movies per genre. Mm -hmm. So... I already know I'm going to want to what? number these genres <laughs> for ease. <laughs> What's this? That's... Are these... Those are the optional... Okay, so on the side of the 36, uh-huh. there's alternates. Yes, alternates. Which is kind of backtracking what our plans are for this. So once we get everything, once we get our list prepped, ready to go... Once we get our roulette wheel in the mail that we ordered like five weeks ago, that for some reason is still taking forever to come in the mail, then we can get started. So we have 20 genres and 36 movies each. Mm -hmm. Our plan will be, unless we just decide that we want to watch something. (laughs) Yeah. Unless we decide, you know, I really want to watch this movie. The plan will be to make it random. And to have fate to choose for us. And by doing that, the way that we want to do that is by rolling a D20, a, like a D&D D20 dice, and that will pick the genre. So, for example, I mean, if we roll a three, it would be drama. And then we would spin our real roulette wheel, which that's going to be... If, for C saying that wrong a million times. Real <laughs> roulette wheel instead of wheel roulette reel. <laughs> I mean, you just call it a roulette wheel. No, I want to call it real, 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 real roulette. <laughs> a real roulette wheel. <laughs> yeah. And then branded. These have been numbered. So, um, you know, if it lands on seven and be Wolf of Wall Street and voila, and we'll watch that. And as we go through our lists, We'll cross stuff off, replace it with other ones that we think of. Uh, you know, we might come across and be like, oh, we need to add that to our list or or whatever. Or maybe pull in from, you know, our alternates or what have you. So what I'm thinking we need to be doing today is, one, if you see any errors, like typos, let me know. Okay. Um, but also... Just um, formatting, um, I mean, it's just for you and me, but it, I know it'll help. Um, my goal is to actually have two columns on each page, so it'll be much shorter. Um, and then they'll have these numbered so that we can just be like, okay, go to number six. Like, we don't have to remember, like, which genre, which genre, which genre is which. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then I and then just need you to go through and basically... If there's any that you're like, oh, I've seen that movie, and then it's one that I've seen, then we need to we need to cut it now. Right. So we have a long, long list of movies to go through, which we should be going through all of them right now. Yeah, we don't need to like have a discussion about each one. (laughs) I'll be here for eight hours. But um, in another formatting portion which i know this is something that you requested but i'm going i didn't want to do it yet until we get the final list done i am going to mark movies that are in multiple categories so like say we land on alien but that landed under sci-fi well it's also under horror so i'll have some sort of indicator that it's like oh this is you know this is under section five but it's also under section four so i'll have some sort of indicator that way we know like to, just... to cross it off both those lists so so just next to it just <clears throat> yeah I'll probably, I'll probably do like a, i'll do like a parentheses yeah mm-hmm. it, that's the easiest way to do it i like i was thinking okay maybe we could color code it somewhere I'm like that's way too hard yeah that's no, just, just way too parentheses hard. numbers and so it'd be like say it's under like one two and five on all of them one two five even if it's on one so that way mm-hmm. yeah it matches yeah just across like, the board yeah exactly there's no reason to exclude one because it's on one mm-hmm. it's obvious but okay 
That okay, way you that can makes just sense. copy and paste it. Yeah. This pen sucks. Oh, do you give me like the worst pen? Because every pen I give you, you break. Well, okay, so that you gave me a pre a broken, broken pen. pen. Okay, so that's fine. So by that logic, you can only fix it. <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, so action adventure category one. Okay, hold on, I'm still numbering. I'm just gonna number as we go, or okay. not at all. All right, go ahead. You do your thing. Uh, you you do you. So. Scarface? You've never seen it? I've never seen Scarface. You've never seen Scarface? Nope. Hurt Locker? I've seen Hurt Locker. So I have seen Hurt Locker. Okay. So just X that. You, I know you haven't seen Cliffhanger. Nope. I Gladiator? Not. I've seen Gladiator. I thought you said that you've yeah, never I, seen Yeah, I Gladiator. haven't seen Gladiator. Heat. Is, is that also a comedy? Is that those... No, that's not the Sandra Bullock one. That's like the Al Pacino one. Oh, the, yeah, I have not seen that one. Mm-hmm. Okay, sorry. Which one have we stricken so far? Hurt Locker. Hurt Locker. Okay. And you have Into the Wild uh, as an alternate? Mm-hmm. Have you seen Into the Wild? I've never seen Into the Wild. Okay, so that can easily replace that, That'll be number the two. Hurt Locker. That'll be number two. Okay. <clears throat> Blade Runner. Which I think I've only seen bits, bits and pieces okay. of Blade Runner. Mm-hmm. I don't think I've ever seen watch the whole thing from start to start to finish. Mm-hmm. The Wild Bunch. Nope. I haven't seen that either. Doctor Strange Love. Nope. I know I haven't. War and Peace. Nope. The Ten Commandments. Nope. North by Northwest. I feel like I've seen it once, but I don't remember like anything about it. So I just added it again. Okay, because yeah. I, I I love that movie. It's a, okay. Okay. It's a great movie. Uh, and I I thought we've talked about it, but if you if it's been so long, you don't remember it. Yeah, I and that's what I was thinking. It's like I'm so, a couple of these movies. I'm like I'm pretty sure I've watched once, but if I can't even like come up with like oh like. I remembered like what even happens in it <laughs> other than maybe like a scene or two. I'm more, it's worth rewatching to me because it's basically just watching it for the first time. I'll, I'll put a circle by that one. We'll, we'll watch like the trailer. And if you don't get any, no, like, I want to, I want to watch it. Okay. I want to leave it on there. So that will just be left on. <laughs> put an asterisk caveat. Possibly been watched. Ben, Ben, her, Ben, him, her, mm, her, him, it's, she, she. It's been they, them. They, them. Uh, Spartacus. I haven't seen Spartacus. I haven't seen that. Mm-hmm. Enter the Dragon. Mm-mm. The Right Stuff. Mm-mm. True Lies. Couch, a Couching Tiger, Hidden Pockets. Mm-hmm. Uh, Interstellar. Mm-mm. Scanners. Mm-mm. S- 78 Superman. I don't think I've ever watched it all the way through. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Ugh. <laughs> but have you seen it? I I have attempted to watch it three times and have fallen asleep all three times. Okay, so but I would like to I would like to give it a legitimate shot again. I, I feel that you just haven't had the proper motivation to watch it. Mm-hmm. But they're actually and I would like to watch the sequels, but I've never even attempted to watch the sequels because like we've well, never made it through the first one. Right. So <laughs> so so watching the first one will yeah will get us through all the the Fast and Furious style sequels mm-hmm. of. Uh, <laughs> of the pirates of the pirates uh-huh oh, i lost my place total recall mm-hmm. you, i've this, never seen it true lies i thought we went through total recall up top Hurt, mm-hmm. maybe i'm thinking blade runner well there was true lies yeah true lies that's the other mm-hmm. arnold schwarzenegger one mm-hmm. okay another t name total recall mm-hmm. i've not seen it mm, good movie give these people air <laughs> the escape from new york that's it's a it's a bad movie but it's good okay all right it's all right. it's it's the best bad movie on the list so far okay. initial d i know you haven't seen that one Mm-mm. the game Mm-mm. mission impossible nope seven samurai nope over the top i know you haven't seen that nope one. leon the professional nope. i know you haven't seen that one we've tr- got re- years mm-hmm. like years. since we started like dating <laughs> you're like you like, need I've, to watch this uh, movie. You need to watch leon professional <laughs> and we went through everything trying to find it. It was on any of the streaming. And we ended up buying it at Amoeba. Amoeba's. And we took Hollywood. a trip to Amoeba's. And I'm like, oh, we had to buy the movie. And then 
we still haven't watched it even though we bought it but as soon as we brought it home it, then was, it was on, on netflix. it was on it was on like netflix it got put on like netflix and like hbo yeah like immediately like within like a week of us buying it and then we're like oh, okay I, I think that really deterred us from wanting to watch it gi <laughs> jane nope con air uh, no no i haven't face i know i don't want to oh. watch it <laughs> but okay justice league yeah and on this one i put the og or the snyder cut because i guess i mean we could decide which one we want to watch i've i haven't seen either of them i yeah. so i've seen the original saw it in theaters uh-huh. um but i haven't seen the snyder cut but from what i heard the snyder cut makes a little bit enough of a difference mm-hmm. that it improves the viewing experience Okay. So I would I would opt for Snyder, but if that's not available, we'll just go OG. Cop okay, out. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. No, I haven't seen it. Okay. Uh, American Maid. You haven't seen it. Uh, Rush Hour. Nope. Jackie Chan Kung Fu Madness. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So okay. So have you seen like the majority of this I've action seen, list? I've seen the majority of these movies. I feel like like I, like I've only seen. Well, no, I've the only one that was. That I've seen is that Hurt Locker. Okay. So yeah. so why don't we, because I feel like it's going to take us forever to go through this list. Why don't you just name the ones that you haven't seen and then we'll confirm. Or, the, or name the ones that you have seen. Like going through the rest of the list. Oh, just and confirm to see if you. To, to confirm, because it, it's like if you haven't seen them or no, no if you have seen them, then. The only reason it should be on this list is, is, is if I haven't seen them. Right. And you made the list and you'd know if you haven't exactly. seen them. Yeah. But there's some stuff on here that I have seen. I'm just thinking, oh, you might not have seen them. So that's why I left them on the list. <laughs> right. So just go through the ones that I have seen. Yes. Comedy. It happens at night. No. Uh, Book smart. Black Klansman. I have seen. Okay. So and I have seen that one as well. So let's so. cut Black Klansman. Black Klansman's cut. Mm-hmm. I have not seen Lady Bird. When Harry Met Sally, I have seen that. I've never seen it. Thank you for smoking. I have not seen that. Really? That's but that that's always been on my list to try mm-hmm. to see. Mm-hmm. Um, that's actually really good. I've kind of seen the Grand Budapest Hotel, but I've never watched it all the way through. So mm-hmm. that can stay. The artist Boogie Nights. I know I've seen it, but once. Same here. Like, and I actually don't really even think I watched it all the way through. Like, I really don't think I've watched it all the way through. So let's leave that one on. Yeah, I agree. Since I don't, I, I remember literally one scene in the entire movie, and I think that's the end scene. Mm-hmm. Uh, Easy Rider, Annie Hall, Dr. Strangelove, again. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, like, and there's a lot of stuff that's yeah, it's duplicated it throughout this like list. Uh, Singing of the Rain, mm-hmm. Modern Times, The Odd Couple, Basketball. So I put basketball. I know for a fact you've seen it a million times. I have only watched it once and I would not mind watching it again unless there's something from these alternates that you think would be better. I th- better suited. You know, it's been a long time since I've watched it. If it, mm-hmm. if you've only seen it one time, I would say it would deserve a rewatch and you can get probably a better reaction of Mm-hmm. Because you know the creators fairly yeah. well. Mm-hmm. Cool Runnings. Like personally. Major League <laughs> Spaceballs. I've seen Cool Runnings, Major League and Spaceballs. Um, I've never seen any of them. Stripes. Mm-mm. Uh, Wolf of Wall Street, Sleepers, Little Miss Sun. Have you seen Little Miss Sunshine? Yes, I love Middle Miss, Little Miss Sunshine. You've seen it? I've seen it. Okay, let's strike that. Let's strike Little Miss Sunshine. Have you seen Serendipity? You skipped over that one. Oh, uh... No. Okay, that's a really good, a really fun romantic comedy. Raising Arizona, Blazing Saddles. I know you haven't seen Blazing Saddles. I've seen it. Uh, Duck Soup, The Golden Child. I've seen it. Uh, you you, you've it. seen the gold. Which one's the Golden Child? Wait, no. I remember. I get that one confused with that other movie. The or no, is it the Golden Child? I don't know which one the Golden Child is. Uh, is oh, here, is, is the Golden Child the Eddie Murphy movie? Yes. Okay. That's the one we were. We yeah, we were talking about it. We were it. talking about that one. I mm-hmm. think because Rush Hour came up, the Golden Child came up. You haven't seen it. I I have not seen the Golden Child. Okay. So yeah, I have. So that stays. Okay. Um, 
I've seen the horrible bosses. Oh, I thought you said you hadn't seen that. But like not all the way through. I've just seen bits and pieces of it. Mm, okay. But the jerk. Never seen it. Oh, that's a good movie. Cop yeah. out. Tootsie, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, uh, Wet Hot American Summer. I haven't seen any of those. Okay, so we have two that we're cutting from comedy. We're cutting Black Klansman and Little Miss Sunshine. So there's actually several options along the side. There's at the bottom of this page and then the top of this page. So is there any out of those that you would like to move over? On comedy, what are the options? Uh, Starting... Tangerine. Oh, you already skipped to the next page. No, right over here. Oh, okay. Tangerine, Tangerine, Adaptation, The Love Witch, John Mulaney and the Sack Lunch Bunch, which I'm not sure if that's considered like a movie or more kind of like a variety special. Hmm. Um, Ants with Z at the end. I've I've seen it. Okay. You haven't? Um, Again, once when it first came out like 25 years ago. I don't really remember it. Is it? Okay. Repo Man. You haven't seen it? I've never seen Repo Man. Now, is this... Repo Man the Genetic Opera? No, this is Repo Repo Man. Man. I've seen Repo Man. I've I've seen Repo Man the Genetic Opera like a bazillion times. It's literally the same movie, just with no singing. Okay. So I would throw. Okay, so you want to throw Repo Man in? And then, okay, and then. Is that a comedy? Uh, Yeah. That's, I wouldn't, that's not a comedy. That was an action adventure or sci fi. On the Googs. No, Repo. They classify it as a comedy. A sci-fi comedy, I, and I think even when I worked at Blockbuster, it was in the comedy section. I wouldn't consider it a comedy. Maybe like a really dark comedy if you think repossessing people's organs is That's funny. not what it's about. He's re- he's getting a car. Wait. After being oh, fired from his job. Repo man? Jo- yes. Not repo men. No. After being fired from his job, Los Angeles slacker and punk rocker Otto, played by Emilio Estevez, lands a gig working for an eccentric repossession agent named Bud. Blah, 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 blah. He, after learning a Chevy Malibu that has been given a $20,000 price tag, Otto embarks on a quest to find the car with beautiful Leela, or Leila, who claims the trunk's contents are otherworldly. So there's like, it's a sci-fi Comedy is what it's labeled as. Okay, yeah. I thought that was a completely <laughs> different movie. You're thinking of Repo Men? Like with, um, oh, who was in that? Uh, d- d- Emilio Estevez and uh, d- d- Juan Valdez. You're thinking, you're thinking this movie? Yes. I was thinking that Jude movie. Jude Law and Forrest, Forrest Whitaker. Whitaker. Yeah, I had heard about this movie because I was like, that's a ripoff of the musical. It is the exact same thing as the musical. So, no. This is not the movie I'm talking about. I'm talking about Repo Man from the 80s with Emilio Estevez. You can see how I could get those two confused. Yeah, sure. Absolutely. literally one letter off. (laughs) Okay, so yeah. So throw Repo Man. Okay. Over. Uh, Number three. Wax Klansman's. All right, and then there's... Uh, I would throw UHF because I've never seen that either instead of Little Miss Sunshine. Okay. So 25... And Repo right. Man, Black Landsman, that'll be just number three. Okay. Sounds good. So have I skipped into the next? Into drama. Into drama. These, I think I'm lacking on a lot of them. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> like Citizen Kane. Mm-hmm. I watched it last weekend. The Lost Weekend. Mm-hmm. Over the Waterfront. Casablanca, It's a Wonderful Life. Uh, no. Wonderful Life is like the Christmas movie. I keep um I keep thinking Miracle on Thirty Fourth Street. Okay, that's not It's a Wonderful Life. No, it's a <laughs> different it's, movie. It's a different movie. <laughs> uh, Tale of Mocking World, Wolf on Wall Street, Roma, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Uh, Call Me by Your Name, Phantom is it Thread. Mm-hmm. Never. Seen any of these books about being a wallflower? I may have started that one. Mm-hmm. I've never seen it. The King's Speech, Moonlight, Legends of the Fall, The Apartment. Yeah, so far we're 17 in, haven't seen a single one. Oh, wow. I've seen All the of majority <laughs> of this list. Um, well, so far, I think the ones I have not seen, 
I've never seen Phantom Thread or Call Me By Your Name, but I've seen the rest on this so far. Okay. Yeah. Boyhood, 12 Years a Slave. Blue is the warmest color. Dallas Buyers Club, the artist, the social network. There will I've seen There Will Be Blood. I have not seen There Will oh, Be Blood. So that can stay. Yeah. Uh, the Lives of Have others. you seen The Virgin Suicides? Oh, did I skip one? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, Shakespeare in Love, Bringing Out the Dead. I've seen out Bringing Out the Dead, but I think I suggested that one. Yeah, because I have not seen it. Because you have not seen it. Like Confidential, there's Boogie Nights again. Uh, Blue Vel- I think I've seen that. It's... I know I've is, watched Blue Velvet, but... It's like Robert De Niro. No, it's not Robert De Niro. No. Who's the... It's the same guy that was in the, the show... Who? Twin Peaks. It's the same guy that was in Twin Peaks. Um, I believe. Here, hold on. I'm double-checking my facts here. Blue Velvet. Blue Velvet. I, I know I've watched it once, but I think it went completely over my head. I think I was, like, too young for it. And it's... Yeah, go ahead. Oh, I. You scroll. I, I, I ruin everything. I, I something on it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. I, I, I'm not just pulling it up on my computer. That's fine. But I, I believe I've seen this movie, but because um, I was told to. Mm-hmm. And it has uh, Dennis Hopper. Mm. That's who I was thinking of. Okay. Yeah, I've I've seen this movie. <clears throat> Would it be one that you'd be willing to watch again because I legitimately don't remember anything. Yeah, from it. I've I've only seen it once. Uh the running group mm. I'm with, they they say a line from that constantly. Okay. Heineken, fuck that shit. Paps <laughs> blue ribbon. <laughs> because they drink uh-huh, Paps uh-huh. Blue Ribbon. Yeah. And they say that shit all the time. I'm like, what well, I'm like, why are you saying that? They're like, it's from Blue Velvet. And I'm like, I'll I'll watch the movie. And I watched it and I'm like there's the line. <laughs> I'm not sure. He's a writer, Rebel Without a Cause, Gone with the Wind. Twelve Angry Men. Guess who's coming to dinner? Do the right thing. Um uh, yeah, I'm I've All right. Like a majority of these I have not seen. Yeah, and then this one has a good backlog, like the ones on the side, like here at the top. Yeah. Like all of those look really good too. So yeah, once but... we start watching some of those, I would like to fill in with those alternates. <clears throat> yes. So Alien, I've seen. you. Oh, we're in horror now. Oh, we're in horror. Mm-hmm. Uh, Alien, the the Lighthouse of Horror movie? Yeah, kind of. Okay. Have you seen it? I have not. Okay. Uh, Get Out, mm-hmm. Audition, mm-hmm. Blue Velvet again, mm-hmm. Nosferatu, The Phantom of the Opera, Freaks, The Bride of Frankenstein, Dead of Night. Dead of Night. Have... I thought we watched that. Oh, no, um, that was the vast of the night. The vast of night. Mm-hmm. Oh, and such a different enough. title. <laughs> Psycho. I've seen Psycho. The ori- I have not seen the original Psycho. I've seen. Yeah, no, I want to watch the original Psycho. Well, I mean, I've seen it, but I haven't seen the original. The Psycho. remake was a shot, literally a shot for shot remake. Same exact words. Same like he purposefully made a shot. Made for it shot. shot for shot, like the seat, like the framing of each scene exactly the same so it's like legit it's just the exact same movie with different actors that's it yeah, just better updated. cameras <laughs> yeah. the birds rosemary's baby eraser head the thing the orphanage man like i thought i've seen a lot of horror movies then i've missed a lot of these scanners uh the invasion of the body snatchers i've seen 28 days later okay i have two and i re- i remember it so I think we can we can strike that. And that can be replaced. There's the eraser head also on your Did I put it twice? Yeah. It's it's on a, a it's on the alternate. It's on But 14. it's on Oh crap. Okay. Atta- I'll say replace that with Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Okay. <laughs> if you've never seen that. I've never seen it. That's a terrible movie. <laughs> you never seen Tremors? Nope. Okay. Uh Cat People, Wicker Man. Is that the witch with two V's? Mm-hmm. Because it's spelled with a W here. It's it's the witch. <laughs> but it's spelled with two capital V's. Uh, just on the cover, it's not like, it's just the way, it's stylistic choice. It's terrible. The green room. So, next page. 
but still on horror. What number is musical? Number five? Mm-hmm, I think, yeah. Five. Black no. Phone, Train okay. to Bussin, uh, Bird Box, Smile, They Live. Um, I've seen They Live. I've, I've never seen oh, They Live. You're in for a treat. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Love Witch, X, Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. What's that one? Skin and Marink. Skin and Marink. So, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of classics on here, but then it started falling short. So I started putting, I just started putting some new stuff. I'm like, well, I, wa- I want to watch some of these. So, yeah, which is fine. Mm-hmm. So we're, we're page like, I didn't page them. Four yeah. of like 62. <laughs> it's not 62. There's so many pages. Musicals. You want to go through the musicals? Just read through them. I'll mark. Yeah, I guess just call them out if you've seen them. Yeah. Some like it hot. Singing in the Rain, Prairie Home Companion, New York, New York, Cabaret, Woodstock, Funny Girl, The Umbrellas of Cherbourg, My Fair Lady, A Hard Day's Night, Viva Las Vegas, South Pacific, Pal Joey, Funny Face, The King and I, High Society, Oklahoma, A Star is Born, and I guess we can kind of pick which one because there's been three. (laughs) Of the Star is Born? Uh Uh-huh. Have you seen any of them? No. I want to just start with the Lady Gaga one. (laughs) (laughs) It's it's the the newest one? Yeah, the newest one. No, if it's the newest one, it's the best, obviously. But I've I've never seen like the Judy Garland one. I think it was Judy Garland. Yeah, Judy Garland. And then I forget who was in the very, very first one. But anyway. Uh... Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, Newsies, An American in Paris, Meet Me in St. Louis, The Red Shoes. Diaries? <laughs> no. Oh, no, no. On the Town, Yankee Doodle Dandy, Showboat, Tick Tick Boom, Top Hat, The Gay Divorcee, Annie, specifically the one from 1999, that's the best one. I've seen Annie. But... The one from 1999, because the one from the 80s with Carol Burnett oh. as Miss Heinegan is different. And then there's the newer one with like with, Jamie Foxx. Who is, um, is Cameron Kathy, Diaz? No, Cameron Diaz is in the new, Cameron Diaz is in the new one. The new, new Annie. Yeah. The one from like 2000, like 15 or 16 or 17 or something okay. like that. No, Annie from 1999 has Kathy Bates as Miss Hannigan. It has the ball guy from Titanic as um, uh, Daddy Warbucks, and it has um, Kristen Chenoweth, and um, I can't remember the guy's name, but he's like another popular like guy from musicals. It's the best one, directed by Rob Marshall, who also did Chicago. Of course. It's the best version of Annie. So if you okay. have not seen that one. I have not. That, that I will, one. I've, I've seen... The bookends of Annie. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So, so, so far, for, uh, 40... I've seen none. <laughs> uh, 42nd Street, Fiddler on the Roof. I've seen Fiddler on the Roof. I have never seen it. <laughs> so, out of all the musicals you can watch, Fiddler on the Roof, you're missing. You know what? The majority of these I haven't seen. Really? And I've watched a lot of musicals. I, like, I, these are all like classic musicals. I mean, like some I've seen, but. Like, I know you've seen Tick, Tick, Boom. Yeah, but that's like a more recent one. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, Dream Girls, Rent, and Les Miserables. You know, Les Miserables is on my list mm-hmm. because of Hugh Jackman. Okay. And end of and and end, end, end of story. End of story. Okay. <laughs> Period. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next is romance, and same thing. Just holler if you've seen it. Before sunrise, cold mountain. Slumdog Millionaire, Phantom Thread, Call Me By Your Name, The Notebook, Broke Brokeback Mountain. I've seen Brokeback Mountain. Okay, I have too. At least at least two or three times. So I've, I don't I've, really need I've to. I've seen it the one time. Is it something that you would want to rewatch? No. All right, let's do it. It wasn't. I just felt it was poorly done. Oh, I thought it was really well done. Well, I mean, at the time I was watching a lot of foreign films mm-hmm. and I, I was... I was, uh, I'm like, oh, I thought this was like an American version of like a French film. Oh, okay. that's, that's what it felt like. Mm-hmm. Like the, at least the advertisement. I wanted to go see it. And I had been watching a lot of French movies, mm-hmm. a lot of gay 
French movies. Okay. And I'm like, oh, I'm interested to see. I'm like, oh, they're cowboys. They're, they made it very Americanized. Mm-hmm. And when I saw it, like, I was just, I'm like, oh, they they didn't really focus on, like, the romance mm-hmm. of it. And I'm yeah. like, oh. No, it was it was more like the tragedy. It's like, it's, it's, yeah. it's a gay tragedy, which is, like, one of the things that, like, has become a trope. And I think, like, that's one of the reasons why, like, there's a lot of, like, gay movies out now is because, like, the only gay stories that were being told were the gay tragedies. You know what I mean? Like, and that's, like, that's all (laughs) there was. So, like, we need other movies. (laughs) It's, like, it's not, like, all about, like, oh, you're gay and you have, like, you can't, like, live your life and then you have to die. (laughs) Yeah. Because that's that's what that 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 one came out to. It's, like, a gay tragedy. And And then I felt terrible for their wives. I mean, it felt like bad for them too, but I also like because of the murder. Well, yeah, but you know, like no, I felt like you just wanted to be like everyone would be so much happier if like people could just like you know be themselves, (laughs) right? Like, (laughs) yeah, no, true. All right, so punch truck love is that's the Adam Sandler one, which is not Wedding Singer. No, I don't think I've seen it. Okay, Uh, in the mood for love. Annie Hall, Mm-mm. Rebel Without a Cause, no. On the Waterfront, Singing in the Rain, Casablanca, Gone with the Wind, Un Homme et Une Femme. I definitely haven't seen that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, Breakfast at Tiffany's, Mm-mm. Fever Pitch. I may have seen that one, but I couldn't tell you anything about it. Okay. So it's been so long. It's, I mean, it's a romantic comedy. Yeah. Like, you know. Which I've seen a lot of romantic comedies. Mm-hmm. It's which, a, it's a good one though. Yeah, which makes me yeah. think I've I've seen this one, but mm. I it's one of those I saw it once, never again. Okay. So do you want to? We, we'll keep it on there it? since I. Okay. It's been so long. All right, and don't get mad at me, The Princess Bride, and I know you've seen it. Yeah, I've never watched it all the way through. I, I know you've never really watched it. <laughs> yeah, so I would like to watch it. Which it's better than you think. No, and it's like. It's one of those that like I know, and I'm like, why, why have I never like just sat down and watched it all the way through? I've seen like probably the first twenty minutes, and then the last twenty minutes, and then like twenty minutes in the middle, and then like clips all over the place because it's that's a- what people do. But I just haven't. <clears throat> okay, um, the English Patient. Never. Ghost. Is that? Was it Patrick Swayze? Yeah. Have you seen that one? Yes. Okay. Let's try that one then. Pretty Woman. Oh, we're not going to replace it. Well, we can. We'll do that at the end. And when we get to the end of the section, oh, because we're break uh, broke back in ghost. Uh huh. Pretty Woman. No. Okay. Mm-hmm. An officer and a gentleman. The way we were. Mm-mm. The apartment. An affair to remember. Roman Holiday. The Philadelphia Story. It happened one night. The shop around the corner. Say anything. When Harry Met Sally, Serendipity, Legends of the Fall, The Virgin Suicides, and Love Story. So you haven't seen When Harry Met Sally. Another classic. I know. Okay, so that one stays. Okay. okay. So back up. Brokeback Mountain, number seven. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I have the options over here. Uh, just throw Love and Basketball in there. Okay. So that'll be the new number seven. New number seven, which that one could probably also go. It's already in sports. Is, is it already in sports? Okay, so. Yeah, well, because as I was putting it in the sports section, I was like, wait, that's kind of like a romantic movie too. So I threw it in the alternates for the romance. So. Okay, that works. Yeah. Uh, Eat, Pray, Love. Can can I? You want to choose one? Not just me picking at random? Yeah. Okay. Can we put Life is Beautiful in there, please? Okay, let's do that one instead. For 21. Okay, because I know you haven't seen that one. I mean, I haven't seen either any of these. Okay. I've never seen Le- Love and Basketball, <clears throat> but Life is Beautiful is absolutely one of my favorite movies. And I know you haven't seen because we've discussed it before, and I would really like it to be on there. So, <clears throat> Okay. Science fiction and fantasy. Um, have you ever seen Tenet, the new one? Did mm, you ever end up watching it? I don't think I did. Okay. So, yeah, I put it on there because, like, I watched it, but I half ass watched it. Like I was like cleaning my room at the same time, <laughs> and I'm like, okay, like it probably needs a real, a yeah, real watch. Yeah, I haven't watched it, and there was a reason. Like, it was a movie that P 
people like was it, it was like getting, it was getting overhyped i think yeah yeah and i think because of that i i gave it a pass just to let it mm-hmm, to let it to let mellow. it simmer yeah. down all right so uh science fiction and fantasy so this could be science it doesn't it could be science fictiony or like magical. So was, mm-hmm. I don't know why they always group those together, but anyway, uh, Tenet, Gravity, Spirited Away, Blade Runner. Right. We've gone through some of these already. Dr. I know Doctor Strange Love, Interstellar, Spaceballs, Total Recall, Recall. Ro- RoboCop, uh, Alien, Terminator, Tron, Scanners, Superman. Uh, have you ever seen the the first Star Wars? Yes. The New Hope. Yes. Okay, so let's strike that because I've seen it. I don't need to rewatch that one. Close Encounters of the Third Kind. No. Dark Star, Westworld. So, Sli- wait, okay, you haven't seen Tron. The original. Right. Mm-mm. Okay. Uh, Westworld, Sleeper, Dark City, 2001 A Space Odyssey, Planet of the Apes, the original. I don't, yeah, no, haven't seen those. Invasion of the Body Snatchers, no. Escape from New York. You haven't seen that one. Logan's Run, Real Still, The yeah. Wizard, Metropolis, They Live, The Thing, Tremors, Synchronic, Infinity Pool, Bird Box, Gattaca, The 13th Floor. <clears throat> you haven't seen The 13th Floor? Nope. Oh. I'd never one. even heard of it. Oh, it's a good one. Until today when I was finishing up this list. <laughs> okay, so we cut one. Do we want to scoot Eraserhead or Repo Man into, into the list? Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Um... Which one's more 15. science fiction and fantasy? Or uh, fantasy? Racerhead? Go Eraserhead. Okay. Number 15. Okay. <sighs> All right. Mystery Thriller. Get out. Get. <laughs> Go on, get. <laughs> Gravity, LA Confidential, Blue Velvet on the Waterfront, North by Northwest, Interstellar, The Born Identity. The Departed, City of God. Have you ever seen City of God? I've seen City of God. Okay, I had a feeling that you had, and I have too, so let's strike that. Okay, City of God is gone. Uh, Leon the Professional. I mean, the, let's just replace the 13th floor, because that's... The only one. <laughs> the only one for now. Yeah. Uh, Leon the Professional, Basic Instinct, Miller's Crossing, Goodfellas. Have the, you, you have seen the Goodfellas? Uh-uh. Okay. Uh, the Untouchables. I've seen the Untouchables. You have? i Believe I have. Okay, I have two. So do you want to strike that one? Let's not, because I've we, seen it once. Okay, okay. And I can even tell you who's in it or mm-hmm. what it's about. Okay, okay. Um, Witness, Scarface, Taxi Driver, Dog Day Afternoon, The Conversation, Mean Streets, Chinatown, The Sting, The French Connection, Dirty Harry, the Italian Job, Bullet. Now, you haven't seen The Italian Job? Not the original. Okay, so that's the original, not the remake. Yeah, unless you want to watch the the, the remake instead. Have you have you seen the remake? I've seen the remake. Uh, w- I, I actually would like to watch the original. Okay. Um, you haven't seen Bullet? I have seen Bullet. I've seen Bullet. Okay, let's strike it. I was say I, I was pretty sure you've seen Bullet. Yeah, I've seen Bullet. So we're going to have to find one for that, which mm-hmm. shouldn't be too hard. I'm sure that, yeah. Uh, Point Blank, In the Heat of the Night, Bonnie oh, and Clyde. Point Blank. I, I read Point Break. Yeah, it's Point Blank. Yeah, I have not seen that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, In the Heat of the Night, Bonnie and Clyde, The Killing, Touch of Evil, Rear Window, Strangers on a Train, Double Indemnity, Maltese Falcon. Surprising. I haven't seen him. Okay. All right. So we just have one, two. Oh, so we have to find. So what was this genre again? It was... Mystery not, thriller. Was mystery thriller. I'm sure. There's oh, so many yeah. that could be considered a thriller like or a mystery. Yeah. So now we're at war. We're at war. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. So we have seen The Hurt Locker. We already established that one. So I need to strike that one. Number one. Downfall. The Five Bloods. Dr. Strangelove. Casablanca. War and Peace. Apocalypse Now. Schindler's List. American Sniper. Have you seen Apocalypse Now? No. Okay. I, f- I, I watched like half of it and it was on TV. Oh, you can't watch it. I know. TV. I'm like, I feel like 
I turned it because I'm like, I feel like this is being cut up a lot. Oh yeah, they yeah. they. I don't I don't I don't even understand how they can put her on TV and be like it's the same movie. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, not uh, that it's bad, but it just. I mean, I I, I know like some of the imagery. That's the one where they have like the three helicopters coming in. That's Apocalypse Now, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm like, I know some of it. Hmm. Um, and he get where he comes up out of the mud. That's Apocalypse Now, right? I'm um, thinking Predator. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay. So I forget what I said last. Uh, American Sniper, now, Schindler's List, American Sniper, The English Patient, Platoon. You've seen American Sniper? Yes, I have. I have as well. Okay, let's try that. The English Patient, Platoon, Full Metal Jacket. You've seen Full Metal? Have you seen? Yeah, I've seen Full Metal Jacket. That's a really good one. Yeah. Good Morning Vietnam. Yes, I've seen that. That's another really good one. Yeah. Legends of the Fall. The Killing Fields. Oh, I was hoping you'd seen that one. That <laughs> is along the lines of like the movies we were talking about where it's like depressing. You kind of never ever want to want to watch again. Right. Yeah. Um, das Boot. I really want to watch that. I've, yeah, I've never seen it either. It's hard to find. Yeah. We'll find it. Uh, the Big Red One. Cross of Iron. Mash. Tora, Tora, Tora. Catch 22. Defiance, Hostiles, The Dirty Dozen, Von Ryan's Express, Stripes, The Train, The Great Escape, The Longest Day. So have you seen Stripes? No. Okay. Uh, the Guns of Navarone, Hacksaw Ridge, uh, The P- Pianist, The Book Thief, Bridge on the River Kwai, War Horse, and Letters from Iwo Jima. Okay. So we just have four. Oh, shoot. And I have three. Okay. Have you ever seen Glory? No, I haven't seen Glory. Okay. So Glory is going to be number one. That's a great movie. Um, American Sniper, Unbroken. I have not yeah, seen I've, it. I've never seen Unbroken. And then Life is Beautiful 12. So um, did I put... Have you seen Enemy at the Gate? Hold on. Yes, I've seen Enemy oh, at the Gate. Damn it. I was hoping you haven't. Um, I was just realizing that I don't think I put... I don't think I put Cold Mountain on this. I just want to make that. Yeah, let's. Hold, I'm double checking because I'm really surprised that I missed it. Yeah, yeah, let's do Cold Mountain as number thirteen. Okay, so Cold Mountain. Yeah, that's a great one. All right, westerns. Which, I mean, honestly, we could probably say okay, Brokeback Mountain. Let's obviously strike that. But I think. You think? Have you seen Dances with Wolves? Yeah. Okay. Which one's that? Number nine. Oh, you're already just going through it? I'm, yeah. My voice is starting to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Wild Bunch, Dead Man, There Will Be Blood. Have you strike that? You haven't seen, have you seen it? No, we already talked about There Will Be Blood. Yeah. I just don't, I don't know what he talked about. I just didn't remember. Mm-hmm. The Last of the Mohicans, Unforgiven, Young Guns. Yeah, I think like the, honestly, like the rest of them I haven't seen. The Long Rider. Okay, if you haven't seen them, then Bad um, Company. I'm just double checking here. True Grit, the original. I haven't seen it. The, I've seen the remake. Yeah, I've seen the remake. Mm-hmm. Once Upon a Time in the West, the Professional Good, I have, uh, so Good and Bad and the Ugly. Haven't seen it. The Man Who Shot, Liberty Valance, <clears throat> Rio Bravo. These are ones you've seen. No, okay. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just kind of scanning through the list, mm-hmm. uh, reading the ones I've heard. Mm-hmm. Is that Rango? Yeah. You have you seen Ringo? I have not seen Ringo. Okay, so that's yeah. kind of a western. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to so. get like a couple like variety yeah. in there, you know. Four guns, three tons of Yuma. Could we put since we have open spots, could Blazing Saddles be considered a western? Oh yeah, Blazing Saddles is definitely a western. All right, so that's going to be number one, the new number one. Okay. I'm trying to think of like what else we can. Copy over. I don't really know <laughs> of many westerns. Yeah, no, will. So that's we're only missing one because okay. we both haven't seen a lot of westerns. Mm-hmm. It's not a strong genre mm-hmm. for us. Sports. All right, we're halfway through. <laughs> is it this? Is this halfway? We're halfway. Oh my god, that's <laughs> that's what I'm like. There's so many. I know. Okay. Sports. Hoop dreams. Raging Bull. Ugh, next page. Is that Hoosiers? Hoosiers. Cool Runnings. Ali. Remember the Titans. 
uh, varsity blues, basketball, major league. You've seen major league. You haven't seen major league. Mm-mm. Fever pitch, initial D. I've seen McFarland USA. Mm-mm. That's a local. Uh, <laughs> you skipped over Shalon soccer. Oh, Sha- Shalon soccer. Have you ever seen it? I have not. Okay. Uh, Real Steel, Air, a Rollerball, Wizard, Death Race 2000, Invictus. Is that the... That's the, the soccer one with Matt Damon. Okay. That, yeah, I haven't seen that one. Mm-hmm. Rocky, uh, The Natural, Murderball. You skipped two. Which two? Miracle and Chariots of Fire. Well, if you're going to read them all, read them all. <laughs> uh, well, how about I read most of okay, them? Okay. Okay. There we go. That works. Uh, have you, you ever seen Senna? I don't even know what it is. Like, what what sport is it? Uh, Formula One. Oh, that's the one you told me about. Ayr- I know I have not seen it. Ayrton Senna. Okay. Which he comes up a lot okay. <laughs> when talking about Formula One. When we're a keen slap shot. You ever seen slap shot? Nope. You know what that is? Hockey. It's hockey. Mm-hmm. Bull Durham. That's that that uh, baseball one. Yeah, that was, we that, were. that was that guy made his number one, the, the number one baseball movie. Yeah, yeah. Dogtown and Z Boys. Have you seen that? I have not. It's a documentary too. Oh, it was that's a documentary because there's a there's Lords of Dogtown, which I have seen several times. Okay, that's literally then, the same movie. Yeah, the I forget. I mean, the Lords of Dogtown may have even been based like, out of the documentary. Yeah, yeah. I mean, maybe they're, they're, I don't know. They're basically the same movie. Yeah. So I watched. Uh, Dogtown Z Boys, uh-huh. and then I'm like, found Lords of Dogtown, mm-hmm. but I'm like, oh, like I watched. The, uh, so I found them on a uh, Netflix when I was getting DVDs in the mail. Mm-hmm. So I watched them back to back. Old man, yeah, <laughs> back in the day, Netflix. Back in my, back in my day, back. we used like a dust in the mail. <laughs> we used to have to wait the two days for the mail to turn it around. The Big Green. You have you seen The Big Green? <laughs> yes, I have seen The Big Green. Have you seen it? I've seen The Big Green. Okay, let's strike it. With the the catcher from Sandlot? Yeah. 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 Oh, crap. Sorry. So there's, I mean, there's a, luckily there's a lot of sports movies oh, out yeah. there. Oh, yeah. The Fighter. Uh, Love of Basketball. Borg versus. McEnroe. It's a tennis movie. I've never seen it. it has Shia LaBeouf in it. No, apparently. never, never. Uh-huh. Okay, so um, that... so you've seen the fighter and fox catcher, or not? Haven't no, seen them. I have not. Seen um, them. so I did have one alternate called Hustle. Have you heard of it? No, it's a newer movie with Adam Sandler, and he's a um a basketball recruiter. Oh, it looks good. So I'll throw that throw that in there instead of uh, thirty two. All right, take up the big green. <clears throat> all right, what, family and kids. What number are we on? Twelve, I believe. Twelve. Oh my god! Yeah, I forgot we did twenty. Did genres. twenty genres. <laughs> I mean, w- we could like. I think once we start, we could like cut down genres. Like once we start knocking out some of the movies. I mean, and maybe just make it like ten genres. Because especially like once we get through like the like well when we get to it, the end like the last how, one's how directors. Many, how many movies do you think we're gonna watch? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> There's so many of these. Um, we're gonna be doing five a day. Oh my god! Every day, every day for, for the, the rest of our lives. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, family, kids, soul, spirit. Have you have you seen Soul? I've seen Soul. I've seen Soul. Oh, for some reason, I thought you said you hadn't seen it. I've seen it. Okay, so that's the first one to mm-hmm. get cut off this list <laughs> number one yeah number one <laughs> that is not a good start <laughs> spirit away cool runnings run of the titans karate kid princess bride Pirates of the caribbean real steel finding neverland mm-hmm. you've seen it i have seen it have you seen it i don't know it has johnny depp in it and it's it's a it's in the biopic section too because it's about the guy who wrote oh. the story peter pan so no i have not okay. seen finding neverland mm-hmm uh, the Wizard, Miracle. It's, oh, <laughs> for some reason, I think of our own sports. I'm like, Newsies? How is that a sport? <laughs> See who like can throw the newspaper as I far guess. as possible. Holes. I know you've seen it. Yeah, have you? Yeah. Aww. 
But also, I was kind of thinking, like, some of these might be fun to show Emily, too. Yeah. I don't know. So I'm not. I've, I've seen that probably too many times. Okay. All right. Homeward Bound? I've seen it. I've seen it. Okay. That was, like, a staple in our home growing up. <laughs> Alaska, Annie. <clears throat> the Secret Life of Bees. Is that? That's not the bee movie. No. It's it, not it's not animated. Oh. Mm-hmm. So, no. It has Dakota Fanning in it. And she's little. Mm, no. Nope. Little kid. Yeah. Adam's Family Values. I've seen it a lot. I want to watch it again. <laughs> Fine. So, we're going to have to find some more kids movies. Have you seen Good Burger? Yes, I've seen Good Burger. Crap. Dr. Doolittle? The Big Green? Or is this Big Green? It's it's the it's the soccer movie. Um, have you seen Doctor Doolittle? I've seen Doctor Doolittle. Is it the original one with the white guy? Yeah, the original with Eddie Murphy. Yeah, I wouldn't want to watch the white guy one either. Eddie Murphy <laughs> was the good one. <laughs> Doctor Doolittle, Beethoven, like the dog. Uh huh. Page Master. Mm-hmm. I've seen that a lot. Me too. Beethoven, same thing. Onward, have not seen it. Mm hmm. Where the wild things are. I have not seen it. I, okay. Because I've seen bits and pieces. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like a newer one, like a live action version yeah. of it. Yeah. <clears throat> the Iron Giant. You've never seen The Iron Giant? Oh, I'm so happy that it gets to stay. <laughs> uh, little Princess is. is, 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 is. Just, just one. It's just one little princess. Oh, a little. It's, yeah, a little princess. A little princesses. Have you? I've never seen any okay. of them. Is this the second There's one? There's one <laughs> little the princess. Yeah, it's so the little princess and the little princess is. It's like, it's like alien and aliens. No, that's not how it works, but okay. My neighbor, Ma- Mateo. <laughs> Matilda. <laughs> okay, so have you seen the Matilda? Yes. Let's change it to Matilda the musical because I have not watched that one yet. Okay, and we can have an alternate for musical. Let me see. Did we was musical filled up? I think it was. No, that's what I said. I'll just add it to the no. alternates. Yeah. I haven't seen Paddington. Me neither. And apparently, we have to get to <laughs> <laughs> to uh, Paddington two. two. It's a good one. <laughs> it's like was that from Ted Lasso? No, that was from um, the Unbearable. Uh, the one with Nicolas Cage and Pedro Pascal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the bearable weight of massive talent. Oh, my God. <laughs> and remember, he's like, what are your three favorite movies? And he had come up with his first two. And he's like, I don't want to tell you my third. <laughs> <laughs> and then finally, he's like, Paddington 2. And then they watch it and they're like crying watching it. <laughs> 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 and, and then like later when he's like reconnecting with his daughter, he's like, oh, you can pick the movie. I always pick the movie. And she's like, all right, anything? How about... Paddington 2. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, what is up with this movie? Yeah, which I feel like the writers or the director or something. Yeah. I, I would like to know the backstory behind that. <clears throat> yeah. That, that line. Mm-hmm. Or why that movie specifically. Mm-hmm. I think it's just for sh- like the and lulls. For, yeah, just for shits and giggles. <laughs> yeah. Apollo 10 and a half. Have not seen it. That's a newer one. Oh, the... It was teacher. Never even heard of it. It's a documentary. Is it a newer one? Uh huh. Like maybe like two or three years old. Well, maybe maybe like five years old. It uh, looks really good, but it's it's a documentary. But it's like, I like considered like a kids documentary. But it like won the Academy Award for best documentary. So this sack lunch. Yeah. So bunch. maybe is we need to kids? have a discuss. It is a kids, but, but it says John Mulaney right here. Yeah. Which makes me question that. It's John Mulaney and the Sack Lunch Bunch, and I haven't watched it, but and the it Sack might, Lunch is code for drugs. It might absolutely, <laughs> it might be more of like a variety special versus a movie, so we might want to cut it. It's up to you. Okay, well, I mean, there's a lot we have to cut on this and yeah. reformat. Yeah, uh, Rango Ants. That's all the uh-huh. the kids. Off the top of your head, do you know of any like? kids or family oh, movies God. it was really hard because yeah. i'm like i know like all these classic ones you and i have seen yeah and 
with the kid, like we've I've seen so many, so so Bl- many blank check. Have you seen yeah. blank check? Oh, are you? I'm just looking at our pile I, I, of the, movies that I brought over. The rack. Yeah, I, I've I've probably seen every single. Have movie you seen the, the Wizard rack. of Oz? <gasps> have you seen Have you seen the Trouble with Angels? No. Oh my God, that is a movie that I watched so much growing up. It's called The Trouble with Angels. It's from like the '60s. Um. Okay. Okay, I'll just add it on. Um. Oh my God, that movie's so funny. It's so funny. It's like about these two girls um, getting into trouble at like they're like they go to like a, a private Catholic school, mm-hmm. like a boarding school, and it's their four years. So it like it goes through their four years. So like they they start and then like they leave and then they come back and then so then they then they're finally like seniors. You know, it's it's so funny, but it's just like they just get into all these like shenanigans. <laughs> okay, so okay. we're on. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, Colt. Okay, so Colt was hard. There's a lot that... Because, okay, so I, when I was looking up Colt movies, there's a there's a, a division in the definition of, like, what constitutes, like, a Colt classic. And I found a definition that... Um, that helps me like explain like it it, it works correctly for me (laughs) it might not work for other people but it works for me so this is what i found there's there's a am i talking too loud no you're fine okay (laughs) um so there's a cult classic which in its definition was not popular Upon original release, but as it was out for a while, word of mouth created a cult following and became popular for whatever reason. Right. And they tend to be like, oh, like they're almost like so bad they're good type style. Okay. But then there's a lot of movies that have a cult following but they're not considered a cult classic. So those are the definition that I found is called classic cults. So like Harry Potter has a cult following of people who are obsessed with Harry Potter, but that's not a cult classic. Right. Okay. So when I, but when you search cult classic, it comes up. Yeah, like a lot of popular movies come up because they have like a really like obsessive fan base, but that's not what I would consider like a cult classic. Right. So anyway, so I so I really really tried to keep it towards like the ones that like weren't popular but then became popular and then be- had like obsessive fan bases. So Okay. Um and some of them don't even have like a hardcore obsessive fan bases but just got more popular as like after uh, like release okay what do you keep looking at the time we have an hour before we have to leave it's 5 30 right now we have we need to leave at 6 30 okay we have an hour well I, I was gonna tactfully write on a piece of paper be all like what time is the movie <laughs> so that way it wouldn't be on the on the podcast but that's what editing software is for no this is staying in. okay leave it in <laughs> Oh, okay. Multiply and the, 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 the meaning of life. Mm-hmm. Uh, have not seen it. Heather's Cheech and Chong up in smoke. Uh, Ghost World. Maybe I've heard of that one. Ghost World is great. Uh, White Hot American Summer. Uh, Raising Arizona. Stir Crazy. True Romance. Mm-hmm. Cry Baby. Monster. You have Monster Squad. I've never seen Monster Squad. So that stays on there. Doctor Strange Love. Spaceballs. Blazing Saddles. Rollerball. The Wizard. Death Race. Big Trouble in Little China, Planet Nine from Outer Space. Have you seen that one? No, it's Plan Nine from Outer Space. Plan Nine. But no, I have not seen it. Uh, Faster Pussycat, Kill Kill. Mm -hmm. I I don't even know what that is. It's like a super classic, but I've never never seen it. Peak Flamingos. Mm -hmm. The Wicker Man. Mm -hmm. You've never seen They Live? Mm -mm, You've already asked me that three times. I mean, All three times that we've passed it, you've asked me, you haven't seen that? 
I just want to make sure. No, I have not seen They Live, and I would really like to see it. Okay. Barton Fink? Mm-hmm. Have you seen it? Yes, I have. I haven't. Yeah. So I don't know why you even asked. <laughs> Blade Runner, Dead Man, Eraserhead, Repo Man, mm-hmm. UHF, uh, American Her- Movie? Harold and Maud. What's Harold and Maud? That is a movie from the 60s That's about... Right. A it's a it's actually a romantic comedy, but it got super popular um, after it came out because it was like kind of bad because it's about like an much older woman dating like a younger man, like a like a like a like a like, a t- like he's like nineteen and she's like fifty or something Ooh. like that. I don't know. I haven't seen it. It's been renamed into Cougar Town. <laughs> the Thing audition. Ed Wood Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Blue Velvet. Have you seen? That Ed Wood? I have not. Oh. I I have. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. It's it's a it's a biopic too. Okay. Yeah. And he actually directed, um, because Ed Wood is a director. He actually directed um maybe just one. I think he did that plan nine from outer space. I almost put there's another one called Glenn and Glenda or Glenn or Glenda. <laughs> That he directed, and I'm like, I don't want to open up can of worms. <laughs> so I'm like, I won't put it on there. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay. We're down to <clears throat> documentaries. What number is this? 14. 14. So we only have 13 more to go. <laughs> no, it's not that many. Uh, which, a lot of these, I think we can just kind of fly through. Icarus. I mean, let me see if there's any that I've Bowling seen. Bowling for Columbine. Okay. I think we ha- we were talking that we have both seen that. Yeah. Because okay. I, I know I've definitely seen that. Yeah. Man on Wire. That's a great one. You've uh, seen that one? No, that that's... That looks like it's going to be a great one. Yeah, because yeah. I haven't seen that one, but I've seen the movie that's based on this. Mm-hmm. Have you seen it? Wait, I have seen it. I, you know what? I have seen both of them, the movie and Man on Wire. Okay, no. Well, I haven't seen you it. You haven't so. seen it, so mm-hmm. it's a mute point. Okay, so I... Why so I keep talking? So I put Senna on here but is that a documentary or yes. is it is a documentary. Yeah, it's a documentary okay okay perfect um man with a movie camera reward running with speed Night fog don't look back uh the fog of war i haven't seen any any of Amy. the movies on this list so the i'm gonna scoot balls, over Santa. the only one that we've both seen is Wait, born for friends. columbine uh dog town you because you haven't seen uh-uh. it uh-uh okay yeah. Yeah, the only movie on this list that I've seen Mark is Bowling for Columbine. I haven't seen any of these other movies. So Grizzly Man. Okay, so since you so haven't I'm seen any of them. So I'm going to scoot over My Octopus Teacher to number four. To number four. Well, that works. Mm-hmm. So we're down to martial arts. Oh, and then like, okay, so I was really looking hard. Like the first like, like 13, 14, or actually maybe even 15 were like, I looked like, on best of lists, I looked in my books, like, because I, I don't know anything about martial arts movies. I've probably only seen like three in my entire life. Um, the rest, I literally just typed in martial arts movies into Google and trusted. So let me know if any of these like might not be considered like a martial arts movie. I mean, so far, I mean, Couching Trigger, Ip Man, uh, Enter the Dragon, Shallon Soccer. I mean, kind of. It's It's cartoony, but fine. Karate Kid, Touch of Zen. I don't, I don't know what that is. Legend of the Master, and Big Trouble in Little China, Rush Hour, Fist of Fury. You haven't seen that one? I haven't seen any oh, of these. Oh, any of these. No. Okay, there's the the Legend of the Drunken Master and Drunken Master, which oh. are two different movies. Uh-huh. I mean, it's just funny. Yeah. This is like the old one and the newer one. You haven't seen Umbuck? Mm-mm. Umbuck the Thai Warrior I, you know what you haven't seen it because I just showed you like the epic chase scene in it and that's it oh yeah you did show me that yeah okay mm-hmm. so because I'm like you don't want to sit through this whole movie so I'm just going to show you like the two <laughs> minutes that matter in the movie okay uh, Mortal Kombat 13 Assassins Iron Monkey Never Back Down I mean I would even consider like any of the MMA movies like that you would or you wouldn't I would Okay. Because it's MMA, mixed martial arts. Mm-hmm. And like, so any, 
Like the yeah. So because I think this fighting the, towards the end. Yeah, that never back down. I and never back down is mm-hmm. yeah. Enter the fat dragon. It might be that, the the photo poster looked funny. I think it's a spoof. I I it has to be. Yeah. Yeah. No, all these all these look fine from what I know. The ones I don't know. Mm-hmm. Um, they say stuff like Iron Monkey, so I'm assuming <laughs> it's Kung yeah. Fu. Um, the one that like I remember coming out like when I worked at like Blockbuster. Um, Never back down. Well, that did the Forbidden Kingdom. Like I remember a lot of people telling me that that one was good, but I never watched it. Yeah, I actually I never watched <clears> that <throat> either. Okay. And now film n- nori film noir no no. So definition for film noir is like gritty crime. That's like basically it. <laughs> Dark gritty crime. Yeah. So like a lot of these are like black and white. All right, L.A. Confidential, Blue Velvet, Blade Runner, which like. It's dark, gritty crime, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. which it just happens to be sci- sci-fi. Mm-hmm. On the waterfront, Chinatown, the little things, which I'm, I haven't seen hardly any of these. I mean, because we've already gone through these. These have made their ways onto other lists. Mm, some of them, some, some of these. Yeah. Kiss Before Dying, Nightmare Alley, little things. I haven't seen any of these. I've seen Drive. I've I've never seen Drive. Oh, that's a good one. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hot Summer Nights, the, the Drop. That's not Mystic River. It's a Mystery River. You know what? That is a good. Let me double check on that. But I don't think. Yeah, because I don't think Mystic River would be. I mean, it it might. It's dark. The, murder. There, there's a lot of stuff that I pulled from like the best of books that are from like the '60s that I'm like I don't. Even, Even though, though, like, Mystery r- River. Yeah, because if it's Mystic River, I have seen it. If it if it's there's a movie called Mystery River. Okay, it is supposed to be Mystic River, but I don't think Mystic River should be a, a film noir. Mystic River. Um, noir. Hold on, let me double check. Noir. Let's just see what. Let's see what the Googs says. Oh, they're they're gonna give you what you want. I'm like, it is. I mean, what, what would I you would, say? I would loosely consider it a film noir, but also it's more maybe thriller, like a thriller drama. Okay, yeah, it says Mystic River is a neo noir, meaning a, a, new a, a, sti- new, okay. a new style of noir. Which I there's a couple others that I included on here that were considered neo noir. Okay, then so I'll I just leave it on there. It, it on but there. I need to update it to Mystic, mm-hmm. not Mystery. Not Mystery <laughs> River. So I found one. Miss. Thank you. Jackie Brown. Have you seen Jackie Brown? I have not seen Jackie okay. Brown. I'm just, yeah. I'm just reading kind of through it. Mm-hmm. So I'm not just sitting here silently reading to myself. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. I lost highways. And then guys, have you seen Dark The Departed? City. Because it was on one of the other genres earlier and we you said we didn't discuss it. And then I was thinking, I was like, wait, I bet you've seen The Departed. I it's one of those I I if I have seen it I've seen it once and I don't remember it. All right, let's leave it on there. And I would just leave it on there because I've heard a lot about it. I'm pretty sure I've seen it. Mm-hmm. But I again, I can't tell you. I would love to watch it again because I think I've only watched it like twice. So I actually wouldn't mind yeah, watching if, it again. If I watched it it was only once. Okay. Now, adaptation. Yeah, so this is I think the majority of these are based off books, but there might be one or two that are based off like a play, but it's still considered an adaptation. Right. The Blade Runner, Dr. Strangeland, Wolf of Wall Street, Tequila, Te- Tequila Mockingbird, The Shawshank Redemption, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, Gone with the Wind, uh, Princess Bride, Schindler's List, Call Me By Your Name, Apocalypse Now, Stranger Than a Train, Breakfast at Tiffany's, Next Page. <laughs> <laughs> Legend of the Fall, Social Network, and I haven't seen so uh, LA Confidential. I haven't seen any of these. Mm-hmm. Uh, Metropolis, Jackie Brown, Little Women. I've seen Couching Tri- Tiger, but you haven't. Mm-hmm. I've seen The Color Purple. I have not seen The Color Purple. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, thank you for smoking. Maybe. Earlier you said you hadn't seen it. Uh, did I say that? Yeah. Now you're thinking maybe you have seen mm-hmm. it. Maybe. I'm going to put a 
you know, a verify. I just, I just need to look at the, the box art, and then I'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, yes, no, I have. It's about who's the like the, the tobacco lobbyist? Mm, if I have seen it, it was one time. Don't remember it. Okay. Uh, adaptation. Girl interrupted the notebook. Secret life of bees. Holes again. Oh shoot. Okay. <clears throat> there is. There's the holes where the wild things are. Matilda. Musical. <laughs> okay. Just put it in Matilda. Then just, musical. just, yeah. Paddington. All right. So we need to fill in one. There's the pianist, insider, eat, pray, love as options. Oh, your printer messed up biopic. Oh, yeah. No, there was another one that was cut off. I didn't. Um, cause it's set, on a spread, it's on a spreadsheet. I probably didn't set my margins. Right. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll make sure I fix that. Uh, at least it's not your printer. No, my printer's fine. Um, so out of those three, which one should we scoop? Oh, um, maybe the, the pianist. Yeah. I haven't seen it. I've never seen that. Yeah. Okay. So that's gonna be number 33. <clears throat> and Matilda, the musical takes care of itself. <clears throat> Biopic based on a true story. Okay, and then, yeah, so I updated this genre to, because it was just biopics, but I was having a hard time finding ones, because I think biopics are, like, it's based on, like, one specific person. So, like, Elvis, or Elton John for Rocket Man. But, like, there's so many others that are, like, well, it's based on, like, an event that happened. That's not a biopic. Right. So... Like- like the, miracle, like that doesn't hone in on one person, right? Or the miners that the Chilean miners. Yeah, yeah. I, I forget what that was called, but I don't know what that is. Um, the Chilean miners that got stuck in the mine. Yeah, I don't know what movie that would be. Yeah, I forget what it was called. They made a movie about it. Mm, okay, so so I just updated to biopic or based on a true story. Okay. Yeah, so that way it kind of opens it up a little bit. Is Fargo on here? <laughs> no. Because it says <laughs> opening credits. Yeah, and they can't lie. They can't. They can't lie and say that it's based on a true story if it's not based on a true story. I mean, like, that would just be a flat lie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so looking through, like, Wolf of Wall Street, Ali, Schindler's List, The Walk, Hacksaw Ridge, McFarland. Tick, tick, boom, forgetting, uh, finding Neverland, Invictus, the Aviator, Milk, the Shelter Network, First Man, American Maid, the Borg again, Ed Wood, the American Sniper, which we both have seen. Mm-hmm. So that's the yeah. f- that's the first one to be cut. Yeah. Which, La Viva and Rose. La Vie and Rose. La, La Vie and Rose. Mm-hmm. That is a biopic. Based on Edith Piaf, who is a French singer. I may have seen it. Oh, you may have seen that? I've never seen it. Okay, so. Yeah. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Rocket Man. Lincoln. Is that the car? You skip three. Have you seen those or not? No, I have not seen those. Okay. I just want to make sure that you're yeah, not, no, that I... you're skipping them because you have, because you haven't seen them. Versus you're just accidentally skipping them. No, I'm also, I, I skip some for time. We have all the time in the world. Or maybe I don't want to. <laughs> We're so close say, to the end. Every single Don't skimp every out single. on it now. <laughs> <sighs> Jobs. The English patient. No. Get, up. Get on up. The pianist. <laughs> Not the English patient. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my uh insomnia is kicking in mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> the dirt i've seen la bamba i have not seen la bamba 42 into the wild uh i've seen joy oh i have seen joy too all right so 32. warrior warrior have is... you seen warrior nope. okay i'm scooting that over to 32 glory unbroken so that's the end of biopic. Yep. So what number is foreign? 19. 19. We're so close oh, to we're the end. So we're close. so close. And actually, this is kind of the last one with movies because the last one is directors. 19. Mm-hmm. And 20. Mm-hmm. All right. Portrait of a Lady on Fire. 
Roma, Tony Erdman. Well, you also you also have the country of origin. Oh, my apologies. Before you can't. And Portrait of Lady on Fire from so, France. So foreign to you is not a Canadian movie. You know, and we or, we did discuss or this. A British movie. A foreign. So should I update it to foreign language film? I would, but I but would, but if we do foreign language, then that might not include like anything Spanish because there's, like, Spanish is basically an in, American language. It's basically English. <laughs> so, are you saying if either one of us how about under, like, non? Be, uh, how about non English language film? American movie. <laughs> no, I didn't put any British or Canadian. As a foreign film, and if you want to call me a whitewashed whatever, you go ahead and do that. <laughs> well, we just deny can, canned Canadians. Yeah, Canada doesn't well, exist. It's not a real country. So. Yeah, and the British, they've never made a movie in their entire life. <laughs> what would they just know the Queen? That's like all their movies are about the Queen. The Queen. That's pretty crazy, actually. All right, so Portrait of Lady on Fire from France. Roma from Mexico, Tony Erdman, Germany, Son of Saul from Hungary, Blue is the Warmest Color from France, The Great Beauty, Italy, The Artist, France, Nostalgia for the Light, Chile, The Lives of Others from Germany, uh, Head On, Germany and Turkey, Moulad from Senegal, Downfall, which I heard that one's really, really good. That's is on a couple other one? genres. Um, I want to say like early 2000s, but it's like a war movie. Okay. Um, you know, I I haven't heard of any of the their City of God. Mm, okay, we've both seen that. All right. Uh Goodbye Lenin from Germany, Osama from Afghanistan, uh City of God. So we both seen that, striking that. Russian Ark from Russia, which I really really want to see that one. Mm-hmm. Do you want to know the concept of that one? Yeah. It is one single take the whole movie. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So I definitely really, really, really want to watch that. Side note, can we replace City of God with RRR? Sure. Because I've already seen it, but I'll not. watch it again. And that, I believe that's India. No, that's good. I was going to say, like, hopefully you can come up with something else. Yeah. All right. Um, this In the Mood for Love from France and China, which is on, like, every single, like, best of list. Like, all my books, best of lists. Um, the Gleaners and I from France, Initial D from Japan, mm-hmm. All About My Mother, Spain, France, Audition, which I really, really, really want to watch. That, like, that's a horror movie that I've never seen. You know, I that's that's one that has been, every time I look at it, I'm like, I want to watch it. Yeah. It just slips through the cracks every single time. Mm-hmm. All right. The Umbrellas of Cherbourg from France, Un homme et une femme. From France, which means the man and the woman. Uh, that's also on a lot of best of lists. Um, Train to Bassans from South Korea. Seven Samurai from Japan. Eight and a Half from Italy. La Dulce mm-hmm. Vita from Italy. Celine and Julie go boating from France. <laughs> that sounds like a happy. It like, well, when I was looking up stuff. Oh, it's a tragedy, isn't it? No, it said that it's like, if you're looking for like a super fun movie. Okay. Celine the, and Julie go boating, but it's like from like the sixties, but okay. like it said, it's a super fun romp is how it was described from France, from France. Okay. Yeah. Like we'll see. T- we'll t- see. T- t- typically you know, they, they have a really fun, happy title and, and it's then, all like, they go boating, but you know, while they go boating, you know, yeah, it's, it's, it's like, Oh, they, they meet a fisherman up in the water. <laughs> And he rapes them, and he puts them in the in the hold, and like chops them up with his fish, and serves them in his deli. Yay! Super fun. Super fun. All right, Das Boot from Germany, Run Lola God. Run from Germany. Das Boot, like I want to see that. I so want to watch it really, really bad. Um, Wild Strawberries from Sweden. Uh, is it Ip Man or Ip Man? I think it's Ip Man. Yeah. Okay. So Ip Man from China slash Hong Kong. Uh, Be Beautiful from Mexico and Spain. Life is Beautiful, which I hope we watch that soon at some <laughs> point from Italy. The Skin I Live In, which looks 
crazy amazing i've never even heard of it until i was looking at movies this morning and i'm like oh my god i want to watch that so bad it has that antonio banderas in it really it looks crazy um and then the last one la vie en rose Mm -hmm. and you haven't seen it i have not seen it okay all right so this last uh genre is not really a genre um it's director so my idea for this concept is Instead of an individual movie, I've picked 36 directors, and what we'll do is we'll just pick a movie. And I think I think a good way to go about it is if there's any that, like, oh, like, you know, just whatever we can agree on, even if it's one we've seen before. Because, like, there's a couple directors that we've probably watched all their movies. Yeah. Um, Kevin Smith. I've yeah, seen. like, Kevin Smith. I know we've, like, we've watched um, all those movies. Mel Brooks. Um, Tarantino. Like, we've probably yeah, seen all those movies. Hopefully, I don't think that there's any movie we haven't seen. Well, you haven't seen Jackie Brown. Oh. Uh, one. Yeah. <laughs> but if we get Tarantino, would you want to watch Jackie Brown or would you rather watch, like, Inglorious Bastards? Well, I would rather watch something that we were like, oh, yeah, let's watch that movie. So, I, so it doesn't have to be, like, one it would just be like, let's watch something exciting from this director, whether it be something that we've seen or not seen before. Right. So I have uh, Steven Spielberg, Martin Scorsese, Stanley Kubrick, Alfred Hitchcock, Quentin Tarantino, Christopher Nolan, Francis Ford Coppola, Akira Kurosawa, David Fincher, Ridley Scott, James Cameron, Billy Wilder, Ingmar Bergman, John Ford, Tim Burton, Charlie Chaplin, M. Night Shyamalan, Paul Thomas Anderson, Peter Jackson, Robert Zemeckis, George Lucas, Spike Lee, Joel and or Ethan Cohen, because they've both done, most of their movies are together, but there's been a couple that they've done separately. Mm-hmm. Which that makes sense. Yeah. Um, uh, Woody Allen, Alejandro Gonzalez in Ar- in uh, Guillermo del Toro, Oliver Stone, Alfonso Cuaron, Orson Welles, mm-hmm. James Campion, David Lynch, which, oh no, that was David Fincher. I'm like, crap, did I put him twice? Uh, John Singleton, Catherine Bigelow, Sofia Coppola, Mel Brooks, and Kevin Smith. Okay. So are there any directors off the top of your head that you think should go in instead? Mm. These are like, it was actually kind of hard the- because like there's a lot of other directors out there, but they only have like two or three credits to their names. Like most of these have like three or more movies. Right. I mean, one, I would say we probably should replace is Woody Allen. I w- don't give a shit. I think he's a great director. <laughs> you don't want to watch any Woody Allen movies? I mean, I've seen all the Woody Allen movies I want to watch. I think you said you've never seen any hall. Oh No. I mean, we can take Woody Allen off and put someone else. No. It would just keep Annie Hall. And I mean, that's like his best movie, really. I mean, there's also What's Up, Tiger Lily. I'm not watching that movie again. <laughs> Why not? Was it too if you, if If you, you... Have you seen that new TikTok where it's like, What margarita? I'm open my legs. No. <laughs> <laughs> How does that even track? First of all, I'm getting there. I'm getting to the point. <laughs> Connect these dots for me, please. Okay, no, and I won't even do the whole thing because I'm worried that like family members will be listening to this at some point. <laughs> so I'm not gonna finish it. But it starts with like one margarita, I'm gonna open my legs, and then it gets progressively Worse, bad yeah. to, like to like the fifth margarita. I wanna change it to like fifth margarita, I'll watch that water what's up, Tiger Lily again. <laughs> this... <laughs> <laughs> so you you give me five margaritas, I'll watch once I'm talking about I mean, however, which is the preferred way to watch it. However, that one line I think of constantly. I mean, that is <laughs> the best line. There, there's two great lines in the movie. The, but the one you're thinking of, which I know which one you're thinking uh-huh. of. Uh-huh. Because every time a director shows up in his own movie, <laughs> narcissistic <The guy> bastard. <laughs> He's like, look, that's the director. He put himself in his own movie. Nice. Narcissistic bastard. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so funny because it's like, it happens all the time. Yeah. Like I watched, a, I went and saw the new Flash movie last weekend. And the director Is makes in the a movie. cameo in it. I'm like, narcissistic <laughs> bastard. <laughs> so anyway, so yeah, that line is really funny. What was the other line? 
Oh. <sighs> I can't remember now. Oh. You said there was two really funny lines from What's Up Tiger Lily. I can't remember. You don't remember that. the other line? <sighs> but that Anyway, one is... okay, so we can cut Woody Allen. We can I mean, cut we don't Woody have Allen. To. I was just thinking, like, his filmography, like. He, he actually has, has a lot of really good he, movies. He has a lot of, but I don't know. Have you but ever guess, watched Match Point? No. That movie's great. Because he, he has a lot of, like, his, like, comedies that have his, like, style. Yeah. Where he's that, quirky, right? You no, know, I think I've only seen his comedies. Yeah. He has his, like, mysteries or, like, I don't know what you call them. I guess, I guess mystery is the best word. Match Point is probably actually one of my favorite movies from him. And it's um, Scarlett Johansson. And Jonathan Reese Myers, and it like it well, it has to do with like he's having like an affair, and but then there's like other stuff going on with right. it. But it's it's actually really good. Um, but but we can cut him. No, it, we, don't, just, we don't. Have you to. just have to come up with another director to fill in the spot. Uh, <clears throat> Michael Bay. Oh, screw you! We you know what? That's actually probably a good one. <laughs> I I sure. Let's cut Woody Allen, and we can put in um, Michael Bay. Because he actually is a very popular director with a lot of movies in his catalog. He has a lot of so movies. And that's, they're all like blockbuster, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like uh, over the top. I, there there are some specific scenes in his movies that I I feel like are second to none. Mm-hmm. What and is, just he goes over the top. Mm-hmm. There it is, Woody Allen. Okay, so we're going to replace Woody Allen. With Michael Bay. All right. I mean, I would love to put like Jordan Peele, but he only has three movies and you've seen two of them. <laughs> <laughs> like we've seen two of them. Yeah. I've seen all three, but so. All right. I think we're do. I think we're pretty much done. Yeah. It took um, about an hour and a half to go through all of our movies and directors and genres. Mm-hmm. And I mean, this is still not done. We still have, there's still some more work to be done with it. Well, I mean, I just need to update the numbers. I'm just looking here. I feel like there was one that we, um, oh, that we didn't. It was martial arts or no, it was the kids. I think we didn't, we didn't have enough to fill in. Yeah, we have no backlog of the kids, but, uh, I mean, yeah, well, I mean, we'll do it off air. We'll just go through and find like a list of movies. Yeah. It's just it's probably straight to DVD Disney movies or something. I mean, are there any Disney or Pixar movies you haven't seen? I mean, I, I, I've already put Onward on here. Um, there's because I know you haven't seen few. that one. There's, there's a few I haven't seen, but I've seen most of them. I've seen but some of the newer ones. I haven't seen like I haven't seen like most of the new live action ones, like Aladdin, mm. Lion King, Little Mermaid. That might those might be good to put in there. Yeah, because I just I've. It's not that I have no interest in watching them. I just have you watched the live action Jungle Book? Um, that's the best of the live action movies. Yes, I did watch. Oh, okay, well, that's the best one. Yeah, I, I watched the live action Jungle <laughs> Lion Book. Lion King, you can skip. I like personally don't like it at all whatsoever. I I heard it looks gross, like just because it's animals. Yeah, I mean, like the, the animation is okay. No, I mean, the, I heard just... the animation is great. It's fine, yeah. it, but it's like real warthogs are gross <laughs> real animals are gross and they make them look realistic mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah it's when well, you wouldn't like it because you know who does a voice oh who who does a voice <laughs> what where that that one guy you don't like the, the sausage party man i can't do the stoner laugh <laughs> What's his name? Fred Savage? Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen. I'm going to make you watch a good Seth Rogen movie God, and convert if you, can, you. If you can find... Like, I've converted more people into hating him. <laughs> no! He's a good actor. You just... He does all, like, the goofy comedies. Like, that... Oh, I have the disaster artist on here. And he's in that. Is he? I mean, okay. he has a small part. Like, not a small part, but he's not, like, the main guy. Does he laugh in it? Maybe not. Maybe not. I bet he does. No, because he's like angry most of the movie. Because yeah. he's like one of the crew members angry who's laugh. mad like during the during the making of the movie. So, hmm. Oh, we'll Which see. Which one? <clears throat> are there any movies that we're going through that you're like, 
wow, I really want to like skip like waiting for it to come up on the list and I just want to like watch it. Oh, that are there any I want to skip the list and just watch it? Yeah. Not dreading to watch oh, it. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, I you know what? I don't remember. This is like right in the way. Um I want to look at you. <laughs> <laughs> um I want No, I didn't I didn't remember seeing anything that was like, "Oh, I really don't want to watch that." Yeah, no. So that's good. Um, But is there anything that you're like, oh, wow, I just like, I don't want to wait for it to randomly come up because who knows? There's like 400 movies on this list. Like, what are the chances that like the one that like we actually really, really, really want to watch will just like randomly come up like soon? Are there any that you just want to like watch? I mean, it all comes. There's a couple. There, Yeah. I have a couple. There's a couple, but a lot of them are things that we've either bought recently because mm. I'm like, Oh, we got Like we got the rush hours. We got the rush hour, the, the Rocky. Rockies. Like mm-hmm. I, I would love to start watching a bunch of the Rockies mm-hmm. just cause you haven't seen them. And yeah. And same thing. There's ones that it's like, I've seen, like I've been trying to get you to watch Wolf of Wall Street for a really, really, really long time. But it's not out of lack of me not wanting to watch it. Yeah. It's just that every time we go to look <clears> at it and you look at the time and it's three hours long and you're like, Oh, <laughs> <laughs> That's like exactly what it's, you it's do. An, it's an you're just like, you're, oh, this is three hours long, but it's so yeah, good. Then I look at the time it currently is, <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it's like ten thirty. Yeah, but oh, what is it? Eight in the morning. So this is gonna take up like most of my afternoon. No, it's no, like, oh, no, no. I'm gonna have to take up like a no, mortgage. I, no, on there's my time. there's specifically two that I want you to watch and that i wouldn't mind like skipping the list wolf of wall street and get out those are the two that i've seen that you haven't that i want that i either hope come up really quick on the list or we should just skip and just just watch it without waiting for it to arise on the list yeah i mean there's gonna be many many times where we go through and we're like oh we want to watch a movie and yeah it's just happens to be on our list Mm -hmm, mm-hmm mm-hmm we can Hollywood's working on it. They'll make a replacement. <laughs> make something that'll fill up the spot. Yeah, on our they're list. they're working on it. Trust me. Yeah. Well, not currently because currently there's a writer strike going <clears throat> on. Yeah. So stupid. Are those? So uh, she... this is like a stupid question, and I know it's stupid as it's coming out, but I actually don't know the answer. It's like so focused on like the TV writers. That it doesn't really... I haven't heard anything about like the movie writers. I, I think they're all in They're I'm sure they're all in the in same it, um, it, union. Yeah. But I, I, it's, I, it's I, really I, focused on the TV writers, though. I'll have to ask some people that are in the writers' union. Yeah. But I, I think they're encompassing because the, <clears throat> the directors for... Or the writers for even movies, they're not getting the same... Um, benefits for having their movies being on these different streaming platforms mm, there's mm-hmm. nothing put in place for it they're not getting residuals or because people are watching their movies they wrote but yeah. they're not getting anything for it mm-hmm. they're, they're just getting like either the initial pay or the initial bump mm-hmm. and you know nobody's buying those dvds anymore because everybody's just streaming them yeah yeah but i'm th- i'm talking out of my ass mostly because i <laughs> i literally don't know yeah so i could well, be it's just just wrong. because it's like and i'm sure the movie writers the the you know film screenwriters are also included as part of that union but yeah all i've heard is just like oh tv 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 and it's like yeah well, i think of well, it i haven't heard of it in movies but the the director's union did come to a compromise mm-hmm. which the, all the writers were upset at that because the directors mm. were supposed to stand with stand them, strong with the writers, but then they're like, "Oh, we got a deal. Oh, let's sign." And like, we got what we wanted. Yeah, we're out. Yeah, but we'll you see. know, there's a lot of people that are in both unions too. Mm. Yeah, because like dir- a lot of directors like write their own stuff or stuff for other people as well. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Well. Okay. Well, that's... I think we're good. Yeah. So. Next steps are to clean this up, make it much easier to flip through. Um, I'll probably have it in. Um, I, w- I would do like maybe tri columns. 
Yeah, I was going to say, like, at least two, if not three columns. I'm going to see how it fits. Um, and that way, it'll be on way less pages. We don't have to flip through as many. And and then just have, like, a page of alternates that could, like, and then put, like, okay, this could go to whatever different genres, you know? Yeah. So, um, yeah, and that, that that's really it. And then I'm just waiting for our roulette wheel to come in. Yeah, and once we get our roulette wheel, we can actually, re- I mean, we could <coughs> start doing it. Any movie so whatsoever. <laughs> but we would like to keep it a chance based. Yeah. Just, just I mean, keep well, it fun. Well, because what that does to the randomization of it is, one, it cuts down the time that we spend picking what to watch. Because we probably spend an hour deciding what to watch a yeah, lot of times but it's like we do the same thing that we did with this list we go see a movie we have a little story about it we yeah. talk about it and then we're like oh th- do you see one three movies down like oh have you heard of this one this has a crazy behind the scenes thing like they use miniatures for this and it was you know mm-hmm. groundbreaking and <laughs> you know look two more down the list oh there's another movie that has another interesting story yeah yeah, so we just end up talking about movies, and for, then it's like, oh, well, we were going to watch a movie. Yeah, <laughs> we but, just don't end up yeah, watching but, anything. Uh, yeah, instead we spend two and a half hours just discussing movies on, on Netflix list. Yeah, so so this this will help us get out of that habit and get some movies actually watched. It'll just be like, whatever it rolls. And then also, it's like, you know, there's a lot of things... I mean, like we said, I don't think there's anything on this list that we absolutely don't want to watch. But there's some things that I'm like, ugh, I'm like, that's not really my style of film to watch. I'm not really super, super interested in like watching like a neo noir, you know. But it's like, well, it's on a lot of these best of lists for a reason. And a lot of people like it. It's popular. It's like, well, why don't I, you know, it's like getting us out of our comfort zones. Yeah, expanding our horizons. Exactly, like, like watching new things that we wouldn't have watched otherwise. Yeah. A, a good example is uh, Beverly Hills Cop. Oh, yeah, I never would have watched that unless you forced me to watch that. Yeah, but great never, movie. And I loved it. <laughs> uh, another genre, Bad Boys. <clears throat> so, yeah, mm-hmm. it, I never would have watched Bad Boys. But mm-hmm. they're great movies. Mm-hmm. Oh, we watched uh, Beverly Hills Cop just in time for the new one to come out. I know, that's exciting. Yeah. And then what was the other thing? There was another one that we watched just in time for there to be a new one to come out. John Wick. John Wick movies. See, I would have never, ever, ever watched John Wick. Oh, God, those are so... Ever. I'm like, I hate action movies. I hate, you know, I was just like, uh. And John Wick is 100% action the whole time. It's like nonstop thrill ride. Yeah, exactly. But it's so well done. Yeah. That even if you're not into just straight action Mm -hmm. with a story like peppered in (laughs) i mean but it has a good story it has a good story the motivation is there well i think the saving grace of those movies is they build a whole world around john wick yeah so they have like this expansive world of assassins and and hotels and rules that they're all very strict by i Mm -hmm. think that really helps like seed this in not our reality but a reality yeah so it's like you 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 don't have to like suspend disbelief, which is really hard in a lot of these action movies, because like you'll see something and you're like, that can't happen, mm-hmm. like that's that's so unbelievable, yeah, and it pulls you out of the movie. With John Wick, it doesn't matter what he does or what happens, you don't question it, yeah, because you're you're invested in this world that you believe exists, mm-hmm. and it's you don't have to suspend belief to to believe to be like be like oh. Let me put like that's not physically possible. Like, a a man can't get stabbed six times and be fine. <laughs> yeah, or whatever happens. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But yeah, I that was it. Definitely mm-hmm. pushed my boundaries on things that I thought I wanted to watch, and then it's like, oh well, I'm glad I watched that because I literally never would have watched it on my own. But now it's like I l- love those movies. So yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we're both the same way. Like, I, there's a lot of movies that, like, I wouldn't have watched mm-hmm. that you've showed me. Mm-hmm. That I'm like, oh, this is a great movie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, and this is this this is a way for both of us to, like, really expand our movie. Like, we've both seen so many movies. Mm-hmm. And the amount of movies we haven't seen and the big name titles that we haven't seen it's, is... It's still astounding to it's me. It's astounding. Yeah. Like, because we've seen thousands of movies. Mm-hmm. I've spent times specifically looking at like 
popular movies or cult classics, and I'm still like in such a deficit. Mm -hmm. Like half this list I haven't seen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it, it baffles my mind. There's just so many movies out there. Yeah. So if you spend so much time just looking for a movie, you'll never watch one. Yeah. Which is the whole way we constantly drop ourselves into. Mm -hmm. But with this, we'll randomize it. We'll watch a movie. Hopefully we'll... Hopefully we'll love it. Hopefully if we'll not, love it. Hopefully either way, we're still discussing it after we watch it. <laughs> yeah. And hopefully we're entertaining while, mm -hmm. while discussing it. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm entertaining. I don't know about you. I don't know about me. <laughs> but we'll see. Well, if you guys have made it this far, we appreciate you guys listening. And hopefully we'll be back with uh, not another list <laughs> revamp no no we're done we're done with the list yeah this yeah is, i think this is this, like is this is the our end pod, our test podcast yeah this is like <laughs> the last one was episode zero this is episode zero zero you know because the real light will yes uh, and oh next that, i don't i don't know if we discussed that like if it lands on zero or double zero oh yeah greens. that's a good thing so i think it's just well we've already rolled the genre with the right. dice, if it lands on a, you could be zero, I'll be zero, zero, your pick. Anything off the list, and then yeah. I pick anything off the list. Yeah, okay. whether it lands on zero or double zero, one, <clears throat> one, you know, either one of us will we'll decide before, or we'll keep it the same, or we'll just put our pictures in the roulette wheel. Who knows? Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't matter. And, uh, and that way we'll, and it'll just, again, it'll just, you know, we're still watching something from that genre, so... So yeah, yeah, it's pretty exciting. And then on so, the list, off the list, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It can be literally anything. It can be something we've both seen a million times. No, something off the list. If we've off rolled, if we've rolled no, the genre, the if we rolled she the genre, know. it's anything. And then it's anything that's. I'm picking off the list. <laughs> All right, you can do whatever you want. My role, my choice. <laughs> But it's not your rule. <laughs> Whatever. We'll see. All right. Well, we'll figure out. You know what? You know how like rare like the zero. Oh, yeah. The, the zero. 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 Well, actually, technically, I mean, it's just as. It's just as they have it's the, the same It's the same odds. as a one or, or a five or a 15 or whatever. Yeah. No, they, all, they all have the same odds of being the one. Yeah. Because it's not like we're reds or blue or, or greens. Reds or greens. Reds, black, green. Red, black, green. Yeah, reds, reds are black. So those are like the two colors. I wonder if we should do something with the reds and the blacks. I don't know, it's too hard. No, there's no reason. We already have, we're there, we're, we have so much on this plate. Already. <laughs> but, we're, but, 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 I'm joking, that's too much. We're, we're, we've already gone far, in, but you've gone a far in, so far and above with this list. Because mm -hmm. this is like 99% all you. Yeah, but it was fun doing it because it's like I bought all these like movie books and it's fun going through them because it's like you realize, again, like ones you haven't seen. And then it also reiterates. It's like, oh, that's one of my favorite movies of all time. Oh, yeah, it's on the best stuff list of all time. So that's that's fun. And then just like copying off the, off those books, really, a lot of those. So it wasn't yeah. too bad. So, yeah. So I'm looking forward to having an actual episode where we watch, where we pick a movie at random and watch it and review it and discuss it and decide if we want to actually uh uh you know advise anyone else to see it or not to see it yes with our our letter grades uh, oh yeah absolutely okay well we shall call this an episode done yeah done in the can cut print cut cut print okay all right bye bye